How you doing guys? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be taking care of uh, some maintenance on our uh, runaway camper axle. These uh, runaway actually put a really good axle under our campers and it is a Dexter axle. It's one of the best. In my eyes I think it's one of the best axles you can get. So uh, I'm going to show you how I will maintenance my axles and then uh, I'll show you how I grease them and just about a little bit about what I know so far about the axles. So first thing I want to do is I want to get the camper up off the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a jack underneath this thing and jack it up a little bit. We just want to get the tire off of the ground. Just so the tire can be moved like that. Okay, before we get started, I need to show you this. This is out of a um, Dexter Axle book. And this is the different types of grease that you could use on your axle. Let's see, it says right there at the top. That's the, the, the grease that you could use. And these are all the different types. So when you go to look for your grease, uh, you want to take one of these on this list and pick up. I actually got the Valvoline right there. The uh, multi-purpose uh, GM. That's what I'll be using today. But uh, just so you know, you know, this is the list of different greases you can look for when you go to your, to your uh, auto parts store or wherever you're going to pick your grease up. And uh, this is, like I said, this is the one I got, the GM multi-purpose. It's got uh, uh, wheel bearings, so we're good. It should be good grease to put in there. That's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put that grease in my gun, and then I'm going to mark my gun, and I'm going to use this gun just for the runaway camper. One day on our trip, I actually didn't mention this, but uh, one day on our trip, um, every time I'd walk around my camper, I'd take my foot, and I'd push on the side of this, okay? I'd push right here on the side. With my foot, I'd kind of kick it, just to see if these axles were loose. And when I did, the whole wheel turned back and forth like this. And if you just push on it like that, you can tell. Now this one's snugged up right now, but I'm going to show you. When I did that, it kind of scared me because it was really loose. Now I'm going to show you how I tightened it up. And the only two tools I took with me is I had a pair of channel locks and I had a screwdriver. And for me to tighten this down... I had to tap this off and what I did is I stuck it in that groove right there and I just tapped down in here and twisted a little bit and I actually it wasn't even off the ground because I didn't have a jack with me and that's that's all I did so I'm not gonna actually use this these tools here I'm gonna grab something else I'm gonna get a little smaller screwdriver and uh, what you gotta do is just kind of tap around these you're trying to break that thing loose right there. Once you get it loose a little bit, it'll start coming out. It's moving a wee little bit. I'm going to show you the correct way to tighten this axle bearing, or the axle nut on this. I think once you get it so loose, you could just twist your wheel and twist that screwdriver and just keep working it around it until that thing pops off of there. Okay, now you got, this is what you're going to see when you get in there. 
but you want to take a rag just wipe this grease off here and after you wipe the grease off you'll see there's a metal plate on top of here you got a little metal plate right here let me see if I could zoom in a little bit okay I think you guys can see that plate now it's just a little metal plate and this metal plate will come off just take it and might have to take a screwdriver and pop it off there you go just take pop that little case off of there now mind you I did this with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers and that's all I had so you know you work with what you got while you're out on the road okay there's your little this is like a lock nut this this holds that axle bearing into place so I'm gonna get a socket to fit this but when I did this before I actually used a, a pair of channel locks to tighten it and I didn't jack it up so I think I might have it too tight right now because I couldn't get it off the ground so let me get a socket and stuff so what I'm gonna do right now is I need to take this socket I need to take the uh, nut right now I'm gonna loosen this nut okay it's loose now I have a torque wrench here and it's set at 50 pounds so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this thing up to 50 pounds when this thing clicks I'll have 50 pounds okay you heard it click I'll back it off do it one more time okay that's 50 pounds of pressure on that now we're going to loosen this nut back up okay now the nut is loose I should be able to turn the nut with my fingers what I want to do is tighten it back as tight as I can get it with my fingers that's about as tight as I can get it with my fingers now we're, we know that it's good now because that's the way it's supposed to be done so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can lock this thing back on here. And now we're done. So this, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You tighten it up to 50 pounds torque and then you loosen it and then you tighten it with your fingers as tight as you can get it with your fingers. And that's all the tighter we want it. And we don't want our wheel to go back and forth this way. If the wheel goes back and forth this way we're too loose. So that's how you tighten that nut. Now, um, every 12,000 miles, we need to actually, we're going to have to buy two grease seals in the back to put on here. And uh, we're going to have to get all new grease. And when we're ready to inspect the bearings, well, I'm not going to do that with mine. My trailer is only a year old. And I probably got a little over, well, maybe 3,000 miles on it now. So I'm going to show you how to grease it, how it's supposed to be greased. So now, if you noticed on all of your, uh, this is your little cover for your uh, axle here, little cap, dust cap, whatever you want to call it. And it's, I'm going to put it back on, then I'm going to take this piece out and show you how to grease it. Now for this little cover, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take a little block of wood and stick on top of it and tap it back in. Okay, now that's sealed in there pretty good. So we'll need a small screwdriver. Just something that we can get this little rubber piece off right here. There's a little rubber piece right here. So we're just going to take that, get a screwdriver down in there. We're going to pull this rubber piece off. Now, how I'm going to grease this, and this is about after 2,000 miles or uh, let's say a year, maybe once a year. What you want to do is take your grease gun, stick your grease gun on that fitting right there. 
and you're going to start pumping. We're going to keep pumping. Now you don't want to use a uh, like an air powered uh, grease gun on this because it may end up blowing the back seal out of your um, out of your axle here. You got a like a grease seal in the back. It's in the back side. And you don't want to blow that out, so I would suggest just using the, uh, just a hand one will be okay. And that's all I'm using right here. So I'm going to lay down a rag right here because we're going to have some grease coming out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep pumping this thing until my fresh grease starts coming out that hole. It's going to be a slightly different color. It's going to be brighter. What this is doing is pushing all the grease from inside there out. This is a messy job. And actually, this, these are not really that bad. That grease is not bad at all, really. But uh, now, it'll be a little bit. I'll start getting maybe a, a brighter red colored grease okay we're starting to get a little different color in the grease it's starting to turn more red for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that grease off now that grease there will pitch it We'll get rid of that. Now that that should have all new grease inside that axle. Now like I said, you probably only got to do this once a year. You ain't got to do this... I mean, I don't know if that's often to you or not, but if you're putting the mouse on your camper, you probably want to make sure that it's greased good. I mean... It wouldn't be cool to get out there and get stranded along the road. And then once you got that cleaned off there, just take your little rubber cap and just push it right back in there. Now it's got a little groove. You can see there's a little groove right there. There's a little groove there. We want to make sure it gets inside of that groove. So we'll start one side and then we'll work our way right around it with our fingers. And then now we have a well greased axle. And I think about every 2,000 miles or once a year, I'm sure once a year doing this would be fine. Uh, I don't think you'd have to do it more than once a year. And actually, when I was pumping the grease in there, I should have been turning the wheel as I was greasing it. But I think it'll be okay. Just next time, if you guys are doing yours while you're pumping the grease in, every once in a while, give it a spin and pump the grease. I actually forgot to do it, but I'm pretty sure this will be just fine. It's got plenty of new grease in there. So that's how uh, I would maintenance my um, runaway camper axle. And like I said, it's nice and tight now. This wheel should be good for another year. I'm going to go ahead and do my other side the same way. And uh, that's about it right now. Like I said, after 12,000 miles... We're going to have to pick up two seals for the back. We'll get a little bit of um, uh, solvents to clean them bearings with. We don't want to use air or anything like that. Just the solvents. Clean them up real good and make sure there's no pits in them. No discoloration, nicks, scratches, and that type of stuff in our bearings and our races. So, uh, But that's going to be for me down the road just a little bit. You know, I, I just can't do it right now because I don't think it's worth me buying all that just to make the video right now so I'm gonna get the other side done now okay we're gonna get started on this side and we're gonna go ahead get this little cap there's a little screwdriver just gonna pull that out use your finger there a little bit pull it out of there and then uh, we're gonna hook our grease gun up here see if I can do this by myself 
we're going to spin the wheel. That's how you should be doing it. When you're spinning your wheel, you should spin your wheel and, and grease it. So it's getting back in all them bearings. I kind of screwed up on the other one, but I just forgot all about it. I'm not going to pump all the grease out of this wheel. I think it'll be fine. I don't think this grease is actually that old, so... I don't have very many miles on it. I thought maybe two, three thousand. So I was kind of thinking. But it's easy as that. And like I said, if you want, you can pump all the old grease out of your uh, axle like that. You're going to have a little bit of a mess. There's no doubt. Because all that old grease is going to come out. So, once you got it down like that, we'll go ahead and put the cap on this one. And my uh, runaway should be good until next year. Now next year, I, when I'm ready to go out again, I'll do this same thing. Until I got close to my 12,000 miles, then I'm going to buy some new seals. And uh, we're going to inspect all the bearings and everything. Make sure everything looks good in there, and if we need anything, uh, I'll tell you what, it's nice because these the Dexter Axle, you can buy anything you want for this, any piece you want. They're actually really good people. They'll work with you on anything you need. They'll help you out. So, like I said, we were blessed to get a very good set of axles underneath the Runaway Camper. That's how I would maintenance my Runaway Camper Axle. You know, you could get up underneath there and look and make sure there's no bolts loose too. You have spring bolts on there. You know, you can make sure there's no springs broke or cracked or anything like that. That's a pretty good thing to look for every once in a while. Just look underneath there. You might have a broken spring or anything like that. So that's something you can just check out every once in a while. Like I said, I think about two, 3,000 miles or at least once a year you probably should pump the grease in them and, and flush some of that old grease out of there. I think that's a good idea. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and when I get the 12,000 on it, I'll go ahead and order the seals. Uh, you can get on their website there, uh, the Dexter Axle website, and look. I think the seals are probably only about six, seven bucks a piece. And then you could clean them out real good, and you can check them for different things that may be wrong, like your bearings. You know, if they're cracked or, or discolored or anything like that, you probably want to go ahead and get them replaced. But uh, like I said, in, in the way I feel, I think Dexter makes a very good axle. So this is definitely a great axle for underneath the runaway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd want. Uh, hey, till next time.